Okay, and then we imagine machine learning has a go. Oh dear, uh, thanks machine learning. So this is where it says not cat, that's where it says cat. Let's compute accuracy, that's simply how many did we get right? So we got three right out of eight. There's our accuracy. Let's practice uh, saying these labels out loud. This one is true positive, how about that one? Allow me to show you how to speed yourselves up. Don't try to say it in one hop. True positive, false positive, whatever. Instead, did it think we got a cat? Did it get it right or not? Let's start with the second one. Did it get it right or not? That's false. Did it think it found a cat? That's positive. False positive. False positive. True negative. Say, so don't think of them together. True. Not cat. Negative. False negative. There you go. And so when you are fluently showing off that you are totally cool with this whole classification conversation that's going on in the meeting, you'll use the separate them in your mind first thing to ramp up your fluency. Okay. Let's look at the other metrics. First, precision. Precision is the fraction of actual cats among the... Mm, cats that the system found. So in order to do that, in order to compute that metric, let us ignore all the things it didn't find as cats. Boom, gone. This is our denominator. All the ones it presented to us as cats. Of them, how many were actually cats? Two. Giving us a precision of two out of five, 40%. Recall has the same numerator, different denominator. Recall says, of the things that were there that were actually cats, how many of them did it return for us? In order to compute it, we need to know what was actually a cat here. And that's those four. And of them, how many did it give us back correctly? Two out of four, giving us a recall of 50%. So a different metric. Now, whether you'll be in more of a precision mindset or more of a recall mindset depends on your application. So let's brainstorm. You're going to tell me more precision or more recall for these two examples. So for the first example, you are busy people. Yes, everybody? And you read. Everybody literate, yeah? Okay. I posit that there are more books in existence that you will enjoy then you could read in all the spare time that you have. Yes? Happy? Okay. So you want to build a book recommender that is going to suggest to you what to read. Suggest to you that you like it, uh, like it, don't like it labeling for books. Will you be in more of a precision mindset or a recall mindset? What do you say? I'm hearing precision and that is correct. If you want a recall mindset, you're saying, I need an exhaustive list of every book that I could possibly like, and I'm willing to accept duds also. Now, who's got the time for that? Come on. Precision is a way of saying, hey, thing, don't waste my time. Leave things out. Leave out books that I would like. But what you return for me, let that actually be good. That's what precision is saying. Hey, let's try another example. When we're not reading books, what's our other favorite weekend activity? Robbing houses of jewelry. <laughs> now, when you are robbing a house and you have a big bag, are you in a recall or precision mindset? If you're saying precision, you are going into that house with your jeweler's magnifying glass and you are checking every item. Is it valuable or not? because you'd better not get any costume jewelry in your bag. Is that how we rob houses? <laughs> no, you're flinging everything in there because you don't mind getting the duds in your bag. You want to make sure you don't miss out on the diamonds. You want to make sure that of everything that was valuable in this house, you got all of that. And if some plastic comes along for the ride, you're cool with that. That is recall. And so, again, depends very much on your application which one you want to go for. To summarize, a system with high precision is going to leave good things out. But what it returns is of high quality. 
a system with high recall is going to give you a lot of duds, a lot of plastic jewelry, but it returns most of the good items that were there all along. And you don't have to go for one or the other, or even accuracy, which is all mistakes are equally bad. Hey, there's all kinds of crazy blends you can go for. There's something called an F measure, if you've heard of that. That's just a, a way of balancing precision and recall. I care about them equally, so it's, that's the harmonic mean between them, whatevs. Figure it out. You are allowed, as business decision maker, to choose what is important to you, to your business problem. And let that be the metric you pick. <laughs>